Okay, well, there are many different types of FPSOs matching the different requirements we have in various parts of the world. Uh, one of the first main issues are, are we going to use a new build FPSO or a tanker conversion? Uh, that has timing, it has cost implications uh, and operational in implications. And of course the course is able to sort of explore these in greater detail uh, to see those opportunities, the best fits for, for them. Um, the size of the FPSO, again, that has to fit the field. In some areas of the world where we have very large fields, uh, we obviously have very large FPSOs. That would be typical in West Africa. In North Sea, often our fields are much smaller, and so typically the FPSOs are smaller in size and may be more likely to be the tank conversion type. And so the course modules look at that, that aspect in its uh, course material. Um, the sea state, water depth, would be other key engineering parameters that decide what FPSOs we use. If it's shallow water, uh, then we FPSOs have a range of other hosts that maybe we can use for offshore production. FPSOs, of course, are in their own when they come on to deep water uh, and deep water production FPSOs had a very good fit together. When you're mooring, the mooring systems will be dependent on the sea state. So a heavy weather condition like the North Sea, you must have turret moored systems. In very calm areas like West Africa, spread mooring is more applicable. The design of turrets, the selection of mooring systems, uh, would be uh, an area covered in the course uh, to explain those different points. On a commercial side, the options that you have are, are you going to own the FPSO as an oil company or are you going to rent it? Rentals have the advantage that the payment for the FPSO is simply coming out of the revenue that earned from the field rather than having to borrow money from the bank. So various costing issues, commercial arrangements, again are covered within the course itself. And of course anything we do offshore, a major activity and effort has to go into the, the safe working. Safety is a key issue, it is studied in detail in the modules, but here the particular advantage we have from FPSOs are the very large deck space compared with the acreage we have for uh, an offshore platform. That very large deck space can be used to lay out the equipment as safely as possible. So safety issues are covered uh, in the modules for the course. Well, I think it has a uniqueness because it covers all of the topics as I said at the beginning, it is about an FPSO being part of a field development. It's not just about the FPSO. It is the setting of the FPSO. I think that's a strong point of the course. Um, the course gives the opportunity to look at many of the FPSOs working around the world, to see them in shallow fields, in deep water fields, and why they were chosen, why they work well for those particular areas. The last thing of the course itself is that the forum is the discussion group uh, mechanics where people on the course can ask me questions, but in past uh, courses of this type, uh, many of the uh, participants have actually been working on FPSOs, and so a lot of the dialogue into the forum can be questions between participants um, and sharing the knowledge that they have of FPSOs as well as my knowledge.